Well, David Goldstein's newest investigation may leave you feeling steaming mad. David's here now to show us what he's found, and this time, who he's confronting. It's a hot story on this one, I'll tell you. <laughs> well, the MTA has certainly had its share of problems from burning buses to crime on the rails and cost overruns in the millions. But somehow the CEO is ready to sign off on steam and sauna rooms. As MTA struggles to replace buses that have caught on fire because of a lack of money. What are they doing? For incidents that we've exposed for the past six months, one of the entries in their proposed budget for next year caught our eye. Sauna, steam rooms, $200,000. Phil's request. Great to meet you. Meet Phil, Metro CEO Philip Washington. He made more than $400,000 in salary and benefits in 2017. It's in the proposed budget that says, I believe, Phil's request. It says next to it. Uh, I'm not sure about that document of Phil's request. But that's what it says. And we also obtained Phil's emails. On January 7th of this year, Washington emailed Joanne Peterson, the MTA Chief of Capital Development. Been using and thinking about our P1 Metro workout facility. Please advise on the feasibility of installing a co ed sauna or steam room. This is it, huh? MTA gave us a tour of their private workout facility located underneath their headquarters in downtown LA. It's available to all 11,000 MTA employees, but they say only about 120 use it every day. Washington claims some of the people in the gym gave him the idea for the sauna and steam, even though his email only says he's been thinking about it. Do you use the gym here? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And, and was that one of the reasons that you wanted a steam and sauna here? No. No, I, I very rarely sit in a seat in, in a sauna. Even so, he says the benefits of a sauna could lower the MTA's workers' comp claims? Absolutely. You think so? Absolutely. Metro executives jumped when Washington made the request. Four minutes after his email, we will study this, was the response. Less than 24 hours later, he was emailed this sketch showing exactly how the CEO's idea could be implemented. With two different estimates of costs, one at $200,000, another at $50,000, all taxpayer money. So this is where they could turn in one of the stalls into a steam and sauna. This one, I think they talked about $50,000. But for 200000 they were going to rip out part of the locker area here. And Washington's response, thanks, Steve. I like the $200,000 option. Metro officials admit some of the money could come from Measure M, which hiked the sales tax a half cent to raise money for transportation. You were given an option of $200,000 to spend or $50,000. You came back and said, no, you like the $200,000 uh, version better. And then Is that good use of, 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 of money? And then after that, we took it out of the budget. I am not considering that now. Um, Why, not because say, we're having this interview today? Not at all. Officials say it was removed from next year's budget, but still being considered for the future. Do you think that's good use of money, $200,000 for steam and sauna? Yeah, no, I don't. Joe Linton is the editor of Streets Blog LA, which looks at transit issues. There's relatively cheap projects that would improve the lives of hundreds of thousands of Angelinos, and, and I think that should be their priority. Not, not a steam and sauna. Yeah. People would say steam and sauna is a little bit over the top. It's not in our budget now at all. Well, it was withdrawn from next year's budget, but an MTA spokesman says they are still looking into it further to see other options. So the idea of a steam and sauna may just be heating up over at MTA. Mike, your use of words there. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure you'll be hearing more about this story, though. Yeah, I, you know, this whole issue could be dead at this point now after this. I'm just surprised the MTA has a health club. Exactly, yeah. I didn't know that. That was news to me there. Wow. David. It's just for them, though, right? It is just for this. For all employees, but right. only about 120, they say, use it every day. Okay, but not taxpayer, so don't think about well, it. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave.